Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple pre-pull treatment that you can add to your wash day routine to help you guys retain moisture in your hair, which in turn can help prevent the hair breakage and help in your hair growth journey. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now, some of you guys probably watched yesterday's video and if you did, you would have probably recalled this clip. But if you haven't, don't worry. Um, I will be going through um, yesterday's video into this video anyways um, but if you have guys and you want to skip please go ahead and skip and I'm gonna put try and put the timestamp in the video um, so in the description box so you can just follow through but anyways you're going to need a pan and in that we're gonna add some freshly cut rosemary leaves now rosemary helps to increase the blood flow to the scalp which can help to stimulate new high growth so after I added that to the pan, I went in with some rapeseed oil. Next, I went, I'm going in with some coconut oil. Now you can use olive oil as well if that's what you've got, but please make sure that you do the double boiler method um, just because it will help you preserve most of the nutrients in the oil. So I'm going to pop this on the stove and just allow it to infuse, the oil to infuse. Um, for a few minutes so you know this is ready when the rosemary have literally darkened in color and you will also notice that it's getting a bit crispy so just take it off the stove allow it to cool down if you want to but because I'm will be using another ingredient which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit I do not allow it to cool down so I'm going to pop this in a mason jar and then next I'll be going in with the next ingredient Now next I'm going in here with some vapor rub. Now if you haven't got this guys or you don't want to use it, it's fine to leave it out completely. You can replace this for shea butter if that's what you've got available or mango or cocoa butter would be a great alternative as well. So because the oil is still a bit hot, it just made it easier to melt it um, in the oil. But obviously if you've allowed your oil to cool down, you can just take a little bowl and place some, put some hot water in it and place the jar inside and then stir gradually and it will eventually melt and combine with the um, rosemary oil next i'm going in here with some essential oil this is tea tree essential oil which has great antibacterial properties for the scalp so it keeps away all the bacteria from the scalp which can help in preventing you know like down draft or just scalp illnesses really and you know you guys your scalp is so important when it comes to growing healthy strong hair so after i added a few drops i think it was about 10 to 15 drops of tea tree essential oil this is what the oil looks like so you can use that directly if you want to guys as a pre treatment or even as a high of oil like i showed you guys in yesterday's video but i will be showing you guys how you can transform this oil into like a pre treatment and it will be really good so for that guys we are going to use some freshly cut aloe vera leaf so if you haven't got this please if you got aloe vera gel from the store or even aloe vera juice it will be absolutely fine to use it the only problem with the juice though is that it may be a bit difficult to combine it with the oil um but use what you have guys so essentially i cut the aloe vera into smaller pieces now i'm going ahead and blending the whole thing you don't really want to blend it too much because if you do this will liquefy so you want to blend it just for a few um seconds really you can just pulse it essentially because we want it to be um jelly like so i'm going to go ahead and use a recap to strain and that's it we're going to have the gel So this is it here this is what the gel looks like it's very very slimy and trust me this is so good when it comes to just moisturizing the hair and also helping with detangling so I'm now going to go ahead and put in my oil that we made earlier notice it's getting a bit cloudy and that's just because it is starting to um, to cool down 
when it's completely cooled down it turns a little bit more like a, it has like a slightly solid um, consistency so I'm just adding this to the aloe vera and then we're just gonna stir to combine both and then that's pretty much it that's your pre pull treatment made very simple yet very very effective because this will really help to hydrate your hair and also help when it comes to like detangling if you normally detangle before you go ahead and shampoo your hair so it's quite a good um, thing to use so I'm just at putting it back into the mason jar that just so that it's easier for me to just take and just apply to my hair so this is what my hair looks like just like I said to you guys in yesterday's video my hair is really dirty well it's not dirty now because I have washed it but it was really dirty at this point and it needed definitely a wash so um, this is like you know my wash day kind of thing so I always work on my hair in sections as you guys know so I'm just doing a little bit of finger detangling first and that's just to make the process a little bit easier for me and just to prevent you know tangos and unnecessary breakage essentially so after I did a bit of finger detangling I'm gonna go through with this notice how good this is looking like honestly the oil and the aloe vera has properly combined which is what I was saying guys um, if you can if you haven't got the actual aloe vera leaf it's okay to get aloe vera gel if you can get your hands on it from the store because it will be a bit easier to combine both together compared to let's say this was more like a liquid the oil will probably be sitting at the top and then you'll have the liquid at the bottom whereas in this instance it really combined well together which was really good so I'm just going to just put it on my hair you know from the roots all the way to the ends you know just make sure that the hair is nicely saturated with it um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my white chip comb and properly detangle my hair this is just to remove any knots and tangos and shed hair and all of that stuff before I then go on to shampoo my hair and trust me after doing this shampooing the hair makes it really nice and soft it's not so drying which is basically the whole purpose of pre pouring because that just helps you to minimize dryness which can turn to which can lead to, to high breakage essentially so after I finish doing this guys I'm gonna do it throughout my entire hair I'm going to put a, a plastic bag on later on, allow it to sit for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair and just carry on with my wash day routine as I would normally. So this brings me to the end of the video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Also guys, don't forget to share it with your friend or family member who believes can benefit from today's video and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Bye.